Hello, I'm Dan Galvin for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. The Android for Cars app library is now available in Jetpack, which means that it has API consistency with other Jetpack libraries and is open source. This replaces the previous closed source library while adding functionality such as a new grid template. Learn about migrating your app and more on the post. The Google Play Console launched a suite of new metrics and unique comparative benchmarks, allowing you to evaluate your app or game's engagement and monetization trends against up to 250 different peer sets. 15 new normalized metrics with benchmarks with absolute numerators and denominators available to query as well. They can all be found in the new Compare to Peers tab in the statistics page within the console. Head on over to the post and check out the new course on Play Academy to learn more. We released Flutter 2, broadening Flutter from a mobile framework to a portable framework, enabling you to use the same code base to ship native apps to iOS, Android, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, as well as production quality web experiences targeting browsers such as Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or Edge. Learn more about Flutter 2 on both the announcement post as well as a deeper technical post. Along with Flutter 2, we released Dart 2.12 which features stable versions of Sound Null Safety and Dart FFI. Null Safety is our latest major productivity feature, intended to help you avoid null errors, a class of bugs that are often hard to spot, while FFI is an interoperability mechanism that lets you invoke existing code written in the C programming language, such as calling Win32 APIs on Windows. Head on over to the post to learn more. We announced the Google Cloud Born Digital Summit, a half-day event beginning March 25th at 9.30 GMT that highlights proven best practice approaches to data, architecture, diversity, and inclusion and growth with Google Cloud solutions. Register today for free by visiting the summit website. Also, Google Cloud Next 21 will be taking place from October 12th through the 14th. Sign up at g.co slash cloudnext for updates as we determine the exact shape and experience of the event and how it might potentially span the digital and physical worlds. Google Cloud's hierarchical firewalls are generally available, offering centralized control at the organization and folder level, while safely delegating more granular control within a project to the project owner. Check out the post and read our documentation to learn more about hierarchical firewalls. We announced the release of an open source connector to read streams of messages from PubSub Lite into Apache Spark, allowing you to use PubSub Lite as a replayable source for structured streaming's processing engine, with exactly once guarantees and around 100 millisecond processing latencies. The connector works in all Apache Spark 2.4.x distributions, including Dataproc, Databricks, or manual Spark installations. The post has more on PubSub Lite and the new connector. We announced that Chrome is planning to move to releasing a new milestone every four weeks instead of six weeks, starting with Chrome 94 in Q3 of 2021. Additionally, we will add a new extended stable option with milestone updates every eight weeks. Check out the post for all the details on our new release schedule. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Functionality, such as a new grid template. Learn about migrating your app and more on the post.